What's going on everybody, it's my Paul Matt. Thank you all so much for checking out another video. And what I got for you today, I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. And that's not the pile of washing in the background. Before I sat down to record this, for all fault, I don't make it all look nice instead of it being on the clothes made. That was a bad idea, it just looks like we live in a chip. Okay, so footage what going on in the background is a 48 for 5 TDM on Stash House. Whatever happens from there, I don't know because I don't know how long I'm going to record this video for. So, terrible mistake. Get on with it! Bitch, I'm a storyteller. It's what I do. Calm down. We will we will get there. For whatever reason, the past couple of weeks, like, all the videos of mine have been just like... I don't get it either, but whatever. That, that's YouTube. It's a weird and wonderful world. And the amount of times people are like, oh, get on with it, stop dragging it out, nobody cares, get to the point. It's like, you know, calm your tits. It gets there when it gets there. Oh, I'm, bitch, I'm a storyteller. It's what I do, all right? I'm not typical, oh, look at me for information, like and subscribe. Like, yeah, dude, I don't care, okay? So, no, my time, when I'm ready, up yours. And gaming for the past few years for me has been a bit dry. To, to say the very, very least, right? There hasn't really been anything that has grabbed my attention in a while. When I'm looking at, like, adding stuff to the gaming comic sleeve, you know, like, I can't think. Like, there's nothing that really sticks out. I mean, I kind of think, go back to thinking your favourite game of all time is Streets of Rage, The Last of Us, Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, like, just three that come to the mind. But that is games that happened years ago. The most recent one of them originally came out in 2015. There has been nothing in the past few years, from a single player standpoint, that really, really gets my attention. And I kind of think this has been like the worst era of single player gaming that we've had since the crash of Atari. I, I genuinely do believe it, and yes, I know that was before I was born, but as somebody who is a gaming enthusiast and loves the history of gaming and stuff like that, I honestly think this is the most barren, worst barren spell that we have had in years, decades, this has been the worst that it's been. This console generation has been the absolute worst. Now, fortunately for me, I'm quite happy with playing Call of Duty. But I was looking at next year's thing. Because every year I have a thing. Every year has a theme to it. You know, what I'm going to be doing. What's the main purpose of the year. Like last year, example, it was getting panels all up around the house. Getting everything redecorated. The year before that, sorting out the garden. This year, losing some fucking weight. Yeah, five stone now, by the way. In bear getting a bit trim around the edges. And I always think I have... A theme for the year and one thing i really wanted to do is get back into gaming like gaming gaming not playing call of duty for a couple of hours i mean single player stuff you know like the long drawn out ones going back playing the witches your last of us the last of us two so crash bandicoots you know whatever whatever it may be and what kind of got me going on that was the kids both picked up the new astro bot and astro's playroom when the ps5 came out i will still say to this day Astro's Playroom is the best PS5 game that has come out. Like, fucking hands down. It's not even up for debate. It just is, all right? And then we saw the reveal of the PlayStation 5 Pro. And this is where I made a lapse in judgment. Who honestly thinks the PS5 Pro is a waste of money? Hands up. Who, who honestly thinks it's, it's worth buying? Better yet. Hands up. Show of hands. You, you, did you have your hand up? No, no, no. You just had an itch. Oh, okay, cool. Absolutely fucking nobody. Put your hand up if you're a dumb twat who pre-ordered the PS5 Pro. Why did you pre-order the PS5 Pro? Because I don't fucking know why. Well, I do know why. Because I was contemplating between a PS5 Pro and building a new gaming PC. And one is significantly less than the other. Now don't get me wrong, you say, you can build a gaming PC, yeah, 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 I know, you could, you could, I'm sure you could, but it wouldn't be any more powerful than the one that I'm using right now, and therefore I was kind of thinking, do I, I'm kind of easing my way back into it, I think that's going to be the way to do it, it's a terrible fucking purchase, by the way, like, I would not recommend it to anyone, who knows, like, I'm hoping that when I get hold of the PS5 Pro, and I'd like sit down at the TV and play it and like have my first game in session. I'm thinking, fuck me, this was a great idea. Because as it stands, terrible, terrible idea. But I was kind of looking, you know what? I really wanted to play through Horizon Zero Dawn again. Again, another great game, but it came out, what, literally seven years ago now? And nothing modern has come out that's really got my attention. The only thing that I'm kind of looking forward to is the new Indiana Jones game. And yeah, that comes out on Xbox, so why the fuck are you buying a PS5? I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know. Right? It was... 
it was just one of them things that I just kind of fancied. And I kind of think, you know what, if we're going to start dipping my toes back into this now, let's start small. Because before I go dropping thousands and thousands, because if I'm going to get another game in PC, right, it is going to be, it's going to run on the blood of fucking virgins. All right, it's going to be that powerful. We are going to be talking the dog's bollocks. I'm kind of contemplating, you know, dropping five, six, seven K on something and really, really going for it. But until I find the one that meets where I want it to be, PS5 Pro, just dipping my toes back into it, and we'll see how it goes. But is it a good idea? No. Should I have done it? Absolutely fucking not. Did I book a week off work and look forward to playing it because I'm a 34-year-old man-child? Absolutely.